That is it. Here's my, my tier list so far. 127 hours. I've been in the top 500 is a closed beta. I've been dancing with Platt in and out. It's not easy at this point. A lot of OW pros, in just my opinion, on where everybody is in this tier list. What I think is the strongest characters in the game by far. One, Luna Snow is absolutely disgusting. Insane CC that if you don't, as long as you don't wake him up or you don't unfreeze him. Her ult is unparalleled. Can only be dropped by a perfect storm tornado if you stay on her the entire time. Or an Iron Man ult. Hella. Best DPS in the game. If you get somebody that was, you know, the, the pixel flicking pros, right? The people that do not miss. Hella is unrivaled. The people that are doming people, you're, as a tank, you get absolutely smoked. As DPSs, as flyers, you're like you way more way more difficult to have any impact as a flyer if there's a good Hella. Outside of that, for S tier, I will say Punisher. Punisher's team up with Rocket with his shotgun out makes tanks obsolete. His AR is pretty good, not great, but it is good against flyers. Good to get at range, but his shotgun is by far his best part of his kit by a mile. I'm gonna say Magneto because I think they need to tone down his sword. If they're if anyone plays Scarlet on your team, Magneto is so busted, dude. Yeah, if he has sword, he's S. If not, he's A. But let's just say Magneto because the sword is just the best team up in the game. I also think Thor is high A. If like he's not S, but he's because he's 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 fightable, especially with like the Punisher and stuff like that. Thor's really good, really good brawl. You just need to go in and you need to press the F button and go into rage mode nonstop as fast as possible. Use your E, barely only use your dash to dive into fights. Press your E button, press F. Fight the supports when they perish. Press E again to get the bubble out to land on a person or two, then press F again and fight the front line. You can burn tanks, you can burn supports. He's really good. His ult's pretty good, it gets good picks, but it's not like busted. But the, his his F button is really good. He's in a really good place. He's a strong, strong tank. How are you ranking with team ups? I'm considering a little bit of both. Some team ups are so good that I'm gonna count that as their escalation, like Magneto is the best in the game. Hulk is underrated. People don't understand how to play Hulk. You should be jumping every two seconds. You should be holding your space bar while you're swinging. You should be holding your space bar while you're shielding. You should be jumping in and out and distracting like no one's business. You have so much invulnerability with your second alt transforming into different forms you're invulnerable grabbing people with the, the hulk smash you're invulnerable he can buy so much time he's an absolute menace he can take someone out the fight and he is very hard to take down if somebody's good with him a lot of people are not good with him so they think he's bad but when we did the tournament we faced the number one hulk out of china and the guy was so good it made me realize how good hulk can be it was another level of game it was ridiculous storm is definitely a her ult's disgusting. I want to put her in S just because how good her ult is. And people can be so good with her. But if you do have those never miss a snipe gamers on your team, high, super high level tier gamers, Hella will help shut down somebody like, like Iron Man and Storm. And I'll put Iron Man and Storm next to each other because they're pretty comparable. Iron Man is really good with, especially with Hulk's team up, his, his range from above. He's a menace. Once you learn how to descend and ascend properly in the sky while you're juking while still raining, they're really good. All right, he can stop Luna Snow easier than anyone else in the game. And that's one of the only people right now that can do that. So like, almost want to move him in front. Wanda's a pretty good counter for them, sure. Wanda's a pretty good counter for them. You can get to a level in the sky where she can't reach you. But uh, Punisher, the fact that these two are meta right now make them not S. Loki, Loki, I'll put an A, but people are sleeping on the fact that, and I think it's less used now, simply because of Mantis got a, a, an increase. But Loki, the meta used to be with Loki that you would copy your Luna Snow and then do two Luna Snow alts back-to-back -back fights. And that's busted. <laughs> it's disgusting. So I've got it, you know, I'm going to keep him in A for that reason. <laughs> but since Mantis got an improvement, Loki isn't at, that, that meta isn't really a scene as much because Mantis has somewhat of a Luna Snow alt. It's, it's not as good. It's not as long. And, it, and she can get wiped with something. I think she can still get wiped by something like Magneto alt, whereas Luna Snow... So Mantis... I think the thing about Mantis is like her sleep is so good. She's really good into dive comps. If, as long as people don't wake up to sleep imme immediately, the sleep lasts forever, dude. You should just leave it on your... The, everyone's like, Venom is so good. Venom is so good. Like, nah, dude, if you have a good Luna Snow or a Mantis, whenever they dive, you freeze them and you do not fight them and you move on for a bit. <laughs> he's good. But he, he like, he's a pub stomper in early ranks. People do not know how to handle him. Just sleep him or rocket punisher and just punish her shotgun him to the face 400 times until he has to leave he can, literally can't stay there and fight you rocket i'll put right down here is his combination with with punisher is disgusting makes him so good his res is good but if you if you see rocket res and you're not breaking it you're selling a fight consider knocking the res a knock 
That's how you should be placing, playing every game. If you go in, get a, a, a break on his, and just get out without dying, that is a massive W. You break that ability. It's on a massive cooldown, and it stops a res. Yeah, Amanda's asleep is a lot better. I had her in B yesterday, but I do think her sleep was, is just so good. So good. Black Panther's a B simply because I think Spider-Man's a little better. Spider-Man's harder, but he's got better escape, and he he can one-shot capability far more fluid than, Pun than Black Panther can. He can just do it a lot more fluid. I think he's up right here, right behind Thor or in front of Thor. I think Groot's really, really good. His isolation's disgusting. His walls are hella annoying to deal with. And his walls do good damage, man. I think I think that's fair for Strange. Strange's alt's really good, though. He's, he's like, it's tough to find a spot to put him. I don't know. Maybe I'll put him, like, here. Iron Man Hulk is busted. Yeah, I got Iron Man pretty high up in A. But it's nowhere near as busted as Magneto. It just, honestly, Iron Man's regular attack is great still, too. You don't, you, like, it's nice to have the bigger AoE, but... It's definitely good, and that's why I've got them both up here in A. They're close to S. Magic is A, but she gets hard countered by the flyers, man, if you stay up in the sky. Like, but she's really good and disruptive. It's a pseudo-tank. I'll put her right up there with Spider-Man. Uh, Penny is C, in my t opinion. I, Penny, guys, like, people love saying Penny's good. Penny is, oh, I've only seen good pennies when they know exactly when to lock ulties down with the right click. Her stun, her mini stun is the best part of her kit by far. She face tanks all of her abilities, including her ultimate, where she has to legitimately run directly at the enemy. If there's a Punisher on their team or a Hela that can hit their shots, she dies instantaneously. People are going to hate me for that. She's only good with her kit, with her mini stun. Namor's pretty good. I think Namor is strong, and you can be nice with Namor, dude. In certain games, you're going to pop off with him. His alt's fun to use. His ult can, can be one of the things that drops Luna. It has to hit the dead center of the ult. And Luna's moving so quick that it's really hard to do. You have to get lucky. So Namor, like really good into Spider-Man. Or like a Star-Lord that's popping. Then you put out Namor, you throw your turrets out. And when they dive you, they get torched. They're not a main counter for dive though. Because they really don't do too much of something like a Venom. But they're a main counter for squish dive. It's not for dive tanks. You know what I'm saying? Warlock is diveable, but the two life situation is hella annoying. His team res is great. Adam Warlock, to me, is either bottom S or top A. He's diveable. You can easily drop him. He does a ton of damage. His self-res is great. His combination with Mantis and Star-Lord is great. His team res is great. He's got a lot, but his heals are... He can't be a main healer. His heals are a little more minimal, even though they're juiced. The two of them are... Two uses of it are, are juiced. He's diveable. He's very diveable. This is going to piss a lot of people off. Yeah, he's memeable. He's adorable, and he's fun. He's memeable, adorable, and he's fun. The dude gets absolutely torched, especially by something like Thor, where his his fin is cool. Like, if you're playing Hela and you're trying to hit Jeff Finn, or like, like you know, any of these tougher hit scans and trying to hit Jeff Finn, it's kind of a pain, man. Kind of tough. But somebody with large AoEs, like, let's say, Magneto's sword or, or Thor's uh, mage form, like, you could throw them, a f like, five feet over the fin and it counts as a hit, so he literally can't escape you. I, if I have a Jeff in the other team and I'm playing and I play Thor, it's like a, it's like a hard counter. You dive in, you press your E, you get mage form and you start throwing electric at Jeff. It takes three or four and he's immediately gone. Literally one, two, three, four, Jeff's gone. If he tries to go on fin, I reload one, throw it in the rough direction, five feet over his fin, dead. He's just not that good. You got to play him like a sniper. If you want to, he's hella diveable. His ulti is kind of cool, but honestly, you spit people off the map and they'll probably fly back or use their diving cooldowns to get back if they know what they're doing. If not, you're going to take him. Your, your cool thing that you're doing is you're jumping him off the map. That's really cool and all, but your team just sacrifices support for potentially one or two kills ever. Um, because, like, you throw a shield on, it doesn't consume you. Luna, all it doesn't consume Luna. Um, anybody flying in a decent pace doesn't consume them. 